Let's take a look at how we can use Microsoft Excel to draw maximum and minimum slope lines onto our linearized graphs. So remember the basic process in order to draw these max and min, min lines. We simply look at the very first point and the very last point. We forget, forget about all the other points, draw the error boxes on, and then we want to go from this point, that lowest most rightmost point of the first box, to this point up here, which is the uppermost, uh, leftmost point on this last box, and that would be our maximum slope line. And we'd like to do the same thing here for the minimum slope line, which will go from this top leftmost corner of the first box to this bottom rightmost corner of the very last box. Okay, let's go to our Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so what I've, I've done is, it, this is a graph of this, this is a pendulum data, again, that we've been using for the last few exercises. Uh, square root of length, that's my x variable, so these, this column here is my x variables. I'm plotting that against the period, so there's my y var variables highlighted in green, and then this is my un uncertainties in x, those are absolute uncertainties, my uncertainties in y as absolute uncertainties. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is find this point here, which is going to be 3.2 that highlights our x value and what we want to do then is to add on the uncertainty in delta x so that'll be x plus delta x and then for the y value of course we want to subtract off because we're going vertically downwards so that would be y minus delta y now up here for this topmost point, we'll be taking, <coughs> for the x value, we'll be starting at 10, that's the middle of our box, and then we'll want to subtract off delta x, because we're to the left of that middle point. And for our y value, we're going to want to add on, because we're above that middle point, so we'll add on delta y. I'm going to place those points in this column here and this column here, so it's going to this is going to be my first point, and this is going to be my last point on that maximum slope line. And then I'm going to do exactly the same thing for the minimum slope point. There will be a first point and a last point. So we'll have to use formulas to do this. I want to make sure that I'm... Okay, so I'll start in this box here. And in that box, I want to start at 3.2 here. So don't forget to put the equal sign when you're using a formula. And then I want to add on the delta x value, so it's plus this value here. Press enter, and it's not showing me numbers. I'm going to highlight this again as numbers. There it is, okay. And <clears throat> so now I want to do the same thing for the y value. So my y value, I want to use a formula again, so it's equal to this value here. And I want to subtract off this time, and it'll be subtracting off that value right there. Press enter. Okay, we're getting numbers. Okay, let's do the very same thing for the very last point. So in that case, I want to take my x value right here, put the equal sign in. There's my x value, and I want to subtract off this time the delta x, and press enter. And I'll put in a formula for this entry as well. This is my y value. So it's going to be this value. I want to add on to the y's this time. So it's a plus sign. And that value there. Enter. And let's, let's do the <coughs> minimum slope line uh, at the same time. I'm not going to explain much of what I'm going to do right now. You can just follow along by watching the cursor.
Okay, once you've got your four points <coughs> loaded in there, then you can add them to your data list. So if I come over here to my graph and I do a right click, I can select my data. And I'm going to add some data. And I'll call this my max slope line. My x values are located right here in this column. And my y values are located right here in this column. Let's go back. There's the two points. And that's OK. And I'm also going to add my other bit of data. This is my minimum slope line. My x values are located in this column. And my y values are located in this column. That should be OK. Uh, you can see I've got the points on here, so that's great. And now I can add trend lines. So I'll go to the green here and I'll say uh, add trend line. And I'd like to do a linear line displaying my equation on the chart. And there it is. And I'll do the same thing for my red line. So I'll add a trend line. And linear display equation on chart and close and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to enlarge my graph so we can take a better look at what's going on here uh, so you can see that the graphs and I've got the equations for my minimum and maximum slope lines you can see that my slope should lie between 0.1913 that's my minimum slope and my maximum slope is 0.21 so my actual slope my accepted slope should lie between those two values. And my this one has a negative y-intercept. This one's got a positive y-intercept, so the origin is within uncertainty of those two values. And that's it. That's how you, how you can plot your minimum and maximum slope lines in Excel. So that's all for today, folks. Thank you very much.